All right, Pisces, welcome, welcome, Pisces. Uh, all right, Pisces, this is uh, the Taurus season, and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to use the link below, and as you use the link below um, to choose your crystals. All right, Pisces, I do love you guys. Okay. What do we have here, Pisces? Remember to choose your crystal in order to see how to deal with this Taurus season. All right, Pisces, you're showing up some sort of a deceptiveness that is coming up. You are releasing this deceptiveness. I see all four of your weeks is going to be good, Pisces. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I am loving this for you, Pisces. So, Pisces. Um, this Taurus season is affecting your second house, okay? And uh, we have 12 houses, and our second house is the house of uh, money and financial stability. So everyone, um, the, um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, you are being affected. And this season is beginning from May, from April 20th until May 20th, okay? So from April 20th until May 28th. You start this period off, and this is good. I see money is going to be coming into you. Pisces, justice prevail, victory over some sort of a situation you're going to be moving forward. Some sort of a deceptive play is now out. People are recognizing that there was some sort of an unconventional situation where someone tried to get away with some sort of a deceptiveness, but they were caught. Let's hope that it's not you, Pisces. It could be someone else, but let's hope that it's not you. Seven of Swords is always uh, the sun and, uh, and moon. And uh, um, this is not good. Seven of Swords is always the energy of the sun and moon. So that means it's deceptiveness. You can't have the sun and moon at the same time. There is something that is unconventional going on in the cosmic, okay? All right, the Page of Pentacles, inner and external success. Um, the Page of Pentacles is bringing back a whole lot of money to you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Pisces, Pisces, this is good. This is absolutely good for you, Pisces, especially um, to begin your um, Taurus season. So the Taurus season begins with a page of money returning money to you. So this is a situation where some of you Pisces uh, um, could have been uh, um, uh, robbed a whole lot of money. A whole lot of money could have been stolen from you Pisces. Uh, um, and some of you Pisces are going to be receiving this money back. Uh, whenever the pages come in, especially the page of Pentacles, it's about good. Um, it's about uh, um, you being paid out, uh, um, maybe some invoices, uh, money was owed to you, and this is going to be paid out, this is good. What is so powerful about your reading is that you have two, two major arcana in the middle of this story season, and this is absolutely fabulous. Let's look at the first week. The first week we have the energy of the Page of Pentacles. The first week is from the 20th of April until the 26th. You will be receiving some money. This could have been back pay money that was owed to you is going to be returned to you. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful and positive. Some of you might have to be paying um, some sort of a study for your children, that sort of a thing. You could have, been, have to pay um, child support, that sort of a thing. Um, a lot of you Pisces will be receiving this. Some of you will be paying and some of you will be receiving. So this is a really positive energy. If you are a business person, you were all money. Money is going to be coming in April 20th to April 26th. I see a lot of you are praying for this money to be returned. This money is definitely, definitely is going to be returned. Here it is. You got a lot of luck on your side, Pisces. Congratulations. So, so I do love you, Pisces, and I always root for you, Pisces, because, uh, you know, you Pisces are full of love, but yet still with love, um, it can blind some of you, Pisces, sometime. And this is a situation where some of you, Pisces, uh, a whole lot of money, you have lost a whole lot of money, or a whole lot of money was taken from you, and it could have been someone who um, sucked you dry of your financial um, situation. But it, it could be also 
that this money is coming back from some sort of a lawsuit or some sort of an unconventional situation that was transpiring in your world. And I see you're going to be receiving a whole lot of money in the week of April 26, April 28th to 26. So write these um, dates down. It is going to be a sweet, sweet week, um, the week of April 28th to April 26th. A lot of luck is going to be, and it's as if business is going to be picking up in this week. Um, a lot of your um, debts that was owed to you is going to be repaid. A lot of you are going to be recognizing and seeing a whole lot of money returning to you. And some of you have been praying, 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 leaving the Aries season into the Taurus season. And this is going to be happening for you. So congratulations again, Pisces. It looks absolutely, absolutely fabulous. It's going to be a beautiful Taurus season for you. Then we're looking at the second week. The second week is from April 27th until May 3rd. We have the energy of justice. And whenever this energy of justice comes up, it is all about balance. Balance is being brought back in a situation that has been um, cre created through outside forces. So a fairness and balance is going to be coming in. Whatever the issue and the problem is that was created around you, Pisces, fairness and balance is going to be coming in. They're going to be recognizing that you, Pisces, could have got caught up in some sort of an unconventional um, game or chaos that people from outside forces had gotten you in. It is not a situation that you yourself have created. It is a situation that people from outside forces have gotten you in. And I see that you're going to be resolved. A lot of you um, is going to be worried. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring. Some of you Pisces in this week of uh, um, April 27 to May 3rd. Um, you could be dealing with some sort of a legal issue um, and you are worried. You are worried because the, it's as if you Pisces, some of you Pisces were caught uh, or was involved in uh, some sort of a problem. And I see fairness and justice is coming in. Let's see what's the other message that is coming out. Yes. So some of you Pisces could have been caught uh, um, by a corporation institution um, some sort of an unfavorable situation that some of you Pisces have gotten yourself in. Whatever this problem is and the situation is, a lot of you Pisces got caught up in some sort of an unconventional situation where um, some outside forces has gotten you really caught up in some serious, serious action. So you got to be aware of this um, Pisces, because uh, I see um, the justice is going to be coming down, and we're dealing with um, people in authority, your bosses, um, and this is coming up as people in authority because justice is here, and justice is standing up against some of you Pisces. Whatever some of you Pisces have done, um, justice is here. Some of you Pisces, this is going to be affecting your parents. Okay, some of you Pisces. Uh, this will affect your parents. And I see justice is going to be coming up on a Gemini. Whoever this Gemini is and whatever this Gemini has done, I see justice is coming up on a Gemini because they recognize that a Gemini have created a whole lot of issue. Whoever this Gemini is, I see worries for this Gemini because this Gemini has created a whole lot of issues. And I see that they are going to be picking up this Gemini. Um, uh, whoever this Gemini is, it's coming up as... Um, someone in the legal legalities um, who could have created some sort of a false um, situation where you Pisces got caught up in, where you Pisces um, could have uh, um, get connected with a, um, a corrupt lawyer or someone um, that is corrupt, a, civil, a corrupt civil servants and that sort of a thing. So um, whatever the situation is, if you Pisces could have been corrupted or got caught up in a corrupt group of people that justice is coming down on and you are going to be caught in this situation. So remember, 
right this week uh, down this the week is the second week it is the week of april 27th until may 3rd i see some of you um pisces is uh, is caught up in uh, some sort of an unconventional play there is a situation with corrupt uh, civil servants or a corrupt um uh legal person where they're not recognizing what this person have done some of you pisces that is connected with a gemini a gemini could be going to jail um for something that they have done they have recognized that this gemini has gone too far and has created a whole other issue and you pisces whether this is your husband or wife i recognize that the law fairness and justice and the law is going to be coming down on this person so pisces um you know it, it could be someone who you're connected with because we're seeing the energy of a gemini um so it could be someone who you're connected to and this is about fairness and justice um a libran it could be going to prison for something because people in our authorities recognize uh, what a libran has done and how a libran has created a whole lot of uh, criminal offense so if you're connected to a libran also um i see that they could be coming down on a libran because they recognize some sort of a foul play what a libran has created wow so um you know pisces uh, you know um get yourself out of this situation whoever this libran is is about to do some sort of a time um because they have caught this libran and recognize that this libran have played a huge role in a situation with some of you let's look at the third week the third week is may um fourth until may 10th and in this fourth week we have the energy of uh, the chariot and what do we know about the energy of the chariot is about moving it is not uh, for some of you it could be success but some of you it is moving it is moving forward this is a situation and it is in the middle of the taurus energy so it's not a success it is about uh, movement is about you moving forward some of you pisces could have been dealing with a leo and a cancer and some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for this leo and this cancer so let's see what the message is that is coming up so here we have a situation with a leo and a cancer whoever this leo and this cancer is whether it's your mother or your father Whoever this Leo or this Cancer is, I see some sort of a transition. So um, it could be also that if you Pisces had some sort of a health issue, I see some sort of a transition is going to be coming in where it could be help. Long-term stability is going to be here. A lot of you Pisces was worried about your parents and what is going to be transpiring with your parents. So some sort of a changes is going to be coming up. Some of you Pisces could be relocated. Or some of you Pisces, your parents are going to be ending up in some sort of a hospital or some sort of a sick, um, um, doctor's office where there is some sort of a health issue, but it is going to be balanced. Some of you, it's your parents. Some of you, it's your partner. Some of you could be your grandparents. But I see transition. They could be leaving the hospital or whatever institution they were in. Long-term stability is going to be coming in. And if you're moving or relocating, this is going to be the right place for you to be. And I see transition is going to be coming up, especially for all Pisces people, you and your husband, some sort of a long-term stability. Some of you old Pisces people could be relocating and going back to a place to live or you could be just relocating to somewhere. But this is where you're going to be spending the rest of your life. So people 50 years and older, this is a week for you. Whatever is happening to people 50 years and older, um, this is the week, the week of May for it until May 10. This is going to be the week for you where there is going to be some sort of a transition and uh, you could be moving in this week, but wherever you are moving to, you're going to be having long-term stability there. So it could be that you older people decide to sell your house and it's going to go in a um, living facility and this is where you're going to be um, spending out the rest of your life. Some of you, you could be moving your parents um, to this sort of a facility and this is where your parents are going to be living out the rest of their life. But whatever is happening, a lot of you 
um, some sort of a health issue. You're going to be released from this health issue and uh, um, you are going to be getting better. And I see a long term situation. Some of you could be having and recognizing that you are going to be um, realizing that there is some sort of a long term illness that is coming up. But at least you can live with this situation um, um, with medicine. You can live and balance out this situation. So that is good. All right. Let's move on to the last and final week of the Taurus season. What do we have in the last and final week of the Taurus season? We see the Seven of Swords. Ladies and gentlemen, anything that comes up with the Seven of Swords is not um, positive, okay? It is the sun and moon. It is illusion. It is deceptiveness um, in that last week. Now, this last week is from May um, 11th till May 20th, okay? And let's see what is transpiring. They're now recognizing and investigating a situation. As we see, um, we see that this is a service, some sort of a service that was given. They're recognizing that there was some sort of a problem with the service. They're recognizing that there was some sort of a play where someone had um, uh, conveniently uh, this display some sort of a deceptive uh, um, play in some sort of a service, but peace is going to be coming in. And this is uh, the situation. Some of you young Pisces between the ages of uh, 25 and 45 was going through some sort of a horrible situation. The energy of the lily is speaking of innocent and a happy part of life. Uh, and long, as long as there is no dark clouds and there is no dark clouds around this. So um, peace is going to be coming into some sort of an investigation that was going on. Um, a lot of you um, Pisces that caught, got caught up in some sort of a, um, dishonorable situation with some sort of an investigation. Peace is now going to be coming in because they're going to be recognizing that you Pisces have absolutely nothing to do with this. And you Pisces was not even aware of what was going on and transpiring. So what we're seeing is some sort of a service, some sort of a service that was given or some sort of a service um, that you Pisces have to deal with. They recognize that there was some sort of a false play that um, someone could have used your data and information to create a whole lot of problems. And they're now recognizing that you Pisces have absolutely nothing to do with the situation. So yay, 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 Pisces, you're getting out of the situation. And, you know, be happy that um, finally people are recognizing that you Pisces have nothing to do with the situation because um, you would have received some sort of a jail timing Pisces, because they're recognizing that whatever the data and the information and the service is as if someone used you Pisces information to get some sort of a service. Uh, and now they're recognizing that you Pisces has nothing to do with it. You Pisces was not even aware of what was happening and what was transpiring. Wow. So Pisces, I, you know, I really, 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 um, I'm happy that you guys are not connected in this situation because whatever that was happening and transpiring Pisces, a lot of you got connected with people that was, um, you know, creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues without you even recognize and, and see what was going on. A lot of people, you was in your environment that was doing things that was not above water. And you Pisces was not even aware of this. Some of you Pisces information could have been corrupted by people who were using their powers in the wrong way and as access your information and data. Now, whatever this situation is, a lot of you Pisces are going to be recognizing that and it's going to be bringing it in some sort of a balance to the situation because you Pisces have now recognized that your data and information was used without you even knowing. And some sort of a service, they use your service 
and you was not even aware that your service was used or your name or information was used. And I see some of you have been calling and saying, listen, I don't know um, what has transpired, but my service is higher than it's normal. And it's obviously that someone is on my service. Yet still, um, it has been taken a while. And finally, in the week of May 11th to May um 20th, they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you Pisces was correct. Between May 11th and May 20th, a lot of you Pisces are going to be getting out of a situation because they're going to be recognizing that people had got new Pisces in a situation and created a lot of chaos for you Pisces and you're going to be finally getting out of a situation. Remember five Pisces, um, check the links at the bottom of this video in order to choose your crystal, um, in order to see what is going to be your financial status and how to balance this out because this is the energy of um, the second the second house and it has to do with your financial status. So that is where you could be receiving a whole lot of money coming back to you, Pisces, because they recognize you had no idea what was going on. I do love you, Pisces. Gotta go until next time.